folks, Peter Hill, field agronomist with DuPont Pioneer, and just evaluating the health of some seedlings. So most people plant to depth of moisture, right? But we want to be careful that we're not too shallow. For example, less than an inch and a half, because then we're kind of asking for some issues with root development and being able to withstand, you know, high winds, dry conditions early in the season. So. You know, I'm in Central Texas, and we always recommend um, nothing shallower than an inch and three quarters, and really, you're much better off being at two, two and a quarter, sometimes up to two and a half. We just get so hot, and sometimes so dry so fast, uh, we've got to do everything we can to enhance the root system. So, this particular plant, um, Maybe a little thick here in the coleoptile, but nothing too alarming. I think some of this soil is a little bit crusted from some heavy rains that we've had, so maybe that struggled a little bit. But for the most part, you know, if I, if I look at this planting depth, it's uh, right at about two inches, and I think that's that's very appropriate. Okay, so I, I like to see that. Any time we have anything other than the shoot going straight up we need to ask why that is we don't want to see it curling we don't want to see it crooked we don't want to see it anything but just straight up to the soil surface um, or it can get to sunlight as quick as possible start unfurling the young leaves and start capturing sunlight this always needs to be white we want that to be nice and white and healthy right so as we send um, the radical the first root that goes down the lateral roots the seminal roots everything here needs to be white and healthy and fibrous so i, I love what i see here but uh, these are things you want to be looking for on a healthy seedling uh, again straight to the surface white and healthy and uh, get that plant off to a really good start okay just a good review corn roots agronomy if you will hope you have a good day